Okay, so I've been focusing a lot on the Divine Masculines. Um, I'm just going to be all about the Divine Feminines right now. I feel like the Divine Feminines need an empowerment type style reading and just a reading to just like keep faith in the journey. Um, if they, excuse me, want to continue on the journey. Um, okay, so... I have Nature's Whispers Oracle here by um, Angela Hartfield. Then I have Angela Hartfield's Circus of the Divine. And then I have The Art of Love Tarot by Tony Carmine Salerno. And then I have my channeled messages that um, I like to connect with everything that I clairaudiently channeled. I'm going to have to make a new deck of these at some point. But at the moment, we're still going with this particular set. Um, so... What is the divine feminine's energy in the present moment? What is she exuding from this deck? Sacred fool. So what I'm getting from this card is that she's ending a cycle of acting or behaving in like a little bit of a foolish manner. Like I feel like um, this is like the Joker. So it's like the divine masculine has been showing up in her life um, and just like playing around with her mind and she's um, starting to end that cycle of the sacred fool as in like the sacred Full, like her divine masculine is her sacred divine counterpart and I feel like she um with this being a 10 this is her ending that cycle of you know him just like puppeteering like I'm getting like a puppet type of message um with this card as in like the masculine is just playing around playing around and she's ended that she's ended that so that's good that's where her energy's at the moment she's ended the games she's ended the foolish behavior the sacred fool and i'll get her energy in relation to this message dreamer so she's dreaming of a better future the page of trees is about um manifestation the future dreaming of what could be Letting go of what, it's like she's letting go of what was, having focus on what is and being hopeful about what could be in the future. Um, what's the advice moving forward? Actually, I'll get one of these messages with her energy. I'm moving forward, putting the past behind me. Wow. See, I was on to that. <laughs> um, I've been using the book a lot in my um, Divine Masculine readings, but it's because they're quite logical. But I'm just going to intuitively read the cards from here on out because I feel like um, masculines really need that whole logical standpoint. Um, but feminines, you guys are all connected with the divine. So let's just do it this way. So I'm moving forward, putting the past behind me, which is exactly what I said when this card came out. And I intuitively read this card and it symbolizes the divine masculine being a sacred fool, treating her foolishly. Um, so she's dreaming of a better future and letting go of the past. Now, what is her energy in terms of the future? What's the advice moving forward? Illumination. So I feel like she's illuminating her, her shadow self and her divine masculine shadow self. It's been illuminated. It's like everything that was in the dark has now been brought to light. And she's moving forward and putting the past behind her. So all of her shadow self and his shadow self has been brought into the light. Everything's been illuminated. And look at this feminine just taking a bit of a leap of faith, walking away. She's flying away from the past into her future, which is, you know, very illuminated. Everything's in, in the light now that was in the dark prior is what, I, what I'm getting with this. So with the masculines, what energy are they in? Let's have a look. The masculine's energy. Hmm. Confetti. Confetti. 
So I'm getting a different message from this than what is actually the meaning of the card. I'm getting intuitively that they're thinking about their divine feminines and they just want to celebrate their divine feminine. Because there's a feminine on this card, I'm just getting this message of I just want to shower her with gratitude. I just want to, you know, show her appreciation, ad admiration. I'm getting this kind of like this um, message of I admire you. I want to celebrate you. I want to shower you with gratitude type of um, message here. Let's find out what energy the divine masculine's in himself. The magician. So he's in the magician and energy. He's like manifesting something. He's manifesting something up for his divine feminine. So he's he's trying to manifest how he can show her his appreciation for her, or celebrate her, or admire her, or do you know what I mean? Like it's just like an energy of um. I'm thinking I've got something in the works and I'm going to create it. So he's in his head about it and he wants to show her his admiration. That's interesting energy. Um, what have we got to go alongside this, please? Oh, it's not over for me. I miss you. So what I'm getting from, from this reading is the Divine Masculine is wanting to show his feminine appreciation and gratitude because it's not over for him. He misses her. And he's trying to think of a creative way, use his magic, because the Divine Masculine is the alchemist. He is the magician. He has a lot of power. Um, you know, his powers are very different to the feminine's powers. The feminine's all about intuition and em empathy. The divine masculine is the alchemist, the master creator. He can um, create magic out of thin air. So um, he's using his skills in a positive way to manifest something with his divine feminine, to show her his appreciation for her. That's what I'm getting. And he's saying, it's not over for me. Don't give up on me. Don't let me go. I miss you. All right, so what's the feminine's um, energy? Princess Victorious. So what I'm getting from this is that the divine feminine just wants to be um, victorious in life. And moving forward, she just wants to be treated like a queen. I get this queen energy like, what does it say on her finger? Loser. She's silencing anybody who doesn't treat her less than a queen. So see how there's like a, like a lips thing here with, um, loser on it. I feel like she, she's letting go of her past and anyone that has said Anything negative to her isn't treating her like the royalty and the queen that she is, the divine feminine goddess that she embodies. She's silencing them and she's speaking her truth and she's no longer going to allow anyone to treat her less than she deserves. And that's why there's this loser image on the card. So she's being her in her victorious royal power right now is, is what I feel. And we'll get another energy with this. The wheel. So she's had a breakthrough. She's ended a cycle, like I was saying before. She's had an emotional breakthrough. She's finally realized her, her value. She's finally, um, you know, not accepting anything less from anyone, including her masculine, than what she deserves. And she's had an epiphany moment where she's like, I create my reality. I need to choose a new direction and I need to choose a direction that's going to benefit me. So the wheel has turned here with this direction and she's, yeah, she's started to walk her path in a new direction. That's one that's going to, you know, demand respect from anyone in her life. So I'll get a, actually I'll get advice moving forward for the divine feminine. 
Actually, I didn't get one for the masculine before. Sorry. Um, I'll get one for the masculine next time. <laughs> Too many decks. Be spontaneous. So she's feeling like she can be spontaneous again and just have fun and just have, you know, connections um, that are just going to be exciting and um, bring out her inner child and just enjoy life. That's what I'm, I'm sensing with this. And she's going to, you know, say yes to things that maybe she didn't say yes to in the past and just be uplifting and spontaneous. Um, so we'll get another card with this. I just can't face you right now. Yeah, so she's um, in an energy where she doesn't want to speak to her masculine <laughs> because she just can't face him right now. Because I feel like he didn't treat her like a queen. And she's silenced that behavior. And she just can't face him right now, as in like, She's not ready to embrace him, I feel. It's like more like an energy of like, I can't face you because of everything you've done to me right now. I'm really like hurt by it, but I'm just going to stand in my power, speak my truth, have fun in the meantime, try and feel good about myself again and be spontaneous and have spontaneous connections because I'm a queen. I'm a queen and I just can't face you because you didn't treat me like the queen that I am. That's what I'm sensing here. So what is the masculine's energy towards the feminine? What is his energy? Secret of Shinobi. It's 11. So it's like a unity card. So 11, numbers are 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, numbers of 11 are about harmony and like creating harmony and also it's about reconciliation. So I feel like this particular card is um, showing the divine masculine's intention is to manifest because the last card we got was about manifestation. It's about manifesting unity with his divine feminine. Um... But he's keeping it a secret. <laughs> he's keeping his cards close to his chest. He's not being deceptive. But he's um, he's using his discernment to see his best way to obtain his goals. So that is his, his like energy. So he's um. He's keeping it a secret that he wants to come into union with his feminine and he's trying to manifest it. But right now he's not telling anyone. He just wants to make sure that um, his goals are within reach before he reveals his plan according to this particular energy. He's keeping the faith. He's keeping the faith alive that the connection is not over and that he will have his angel in the future that's what i'm sensing here so i'm just going to get one more energy for the divine masculine what um what energy is associated with the cards you inspire me to be better so the Divine Feminine has inspired the Divine Masculine to be better and to make positive changes in his life. And he's keeping it a secret now for now, but um, he has the urge to be better. So that's really beautiful. I'm just going to get another card for the future. But it's really beautiful because um, the Divine Feminine wants the Masculine to be better. She wants him to be inspired by her. Yeah, so he's going to express his feelings in the future. So maybe in the past, the Divine Masculine had an issue with expressing his emotions. And he's going to express them in the, in the future. He's learning spiritual lessons right now. Sevens are about spiritual lessons. Um, and we've got two sevens here and an eleven. So he's, learning, he's currently learning spiritual lessons. And he's um, keeping the faith 
in order to move forward in the future. And it's cute how there's a beautiful little feminine here. I feel like this is about his inner child. He's amplifying um, his um, positive emotions and energies and healing his inner child because we have a beautiful child here. So it's like the, the masculine like the masculine is looking at the divine feminine's inner child and he's trying to figure out now we've got two fairies here which is beautiful two feminines so it's like he's got faith about his feminine he's trying to he's trying to connect with his inner child so that he can come and play with the divine feminine in the future and she has inspired him to be a better man that's what i'm getting okay the divine feminine's energy what else is she working on? Her shadow self. So it's dark Harley Quinn. So the Divine Feminine still has some shadow work to do in solitude. This particular card. What am I getting from this? I still feel like there is a little bit of um, a mask she's wearing. She's like still faking it that she's like full and whole and complete on her own and she's needing to do a little bit of healing in terms of this um, because it's the dark Harley Quinn. So there's a little bit of shadow work that she needs to do is what I sense from this particular card. Now the shadow work is in relation to um, some of her fears. So something within her wants to be freed. Um, something within, like a dark shadow or a fear inside her wants to be freed. Um, because she's got all this doubt. I think it's, it's doubt and faith. Like it's like, am I just a clown for believing in this fantasy? That's what I get it coming through. Am I just, um, you know, a fool for believing my dreams can come true? I mean, look at everything that's happened with me and my divine masculine. Like, does he actually love me? Does he actually care? He's not showing me that he cares. Am I crazy for believing in this illusion? Or is it an illusion? Or is it not an illusion? Oh my God, I don't know what is happening to me. Do I love someone who loves me back? You know, am I believing in a fantasy? And am I just a clown? That's, that's what really came through just now. Am I just a clown for, you know, believing in my sacred fool? <laughs> so I'm going to get that card because we have a counterpart here. We have two clowns. And one feels alone because it's a nine. And the other is a ten. Um, which equates to a one, if you think about it, which is the fool taking a leap of faith. So it's like, is my fool ever going to take a leap of faith towards me or am I just a, a clown for believing it? Is my masculine ever going to come towards me? I'm getting really deep today because I'm really intuitively reading the cards. And I I, um, I had a reading with some someone who is one of my clients who's actually quite psychic and she's really really um you know gone in leaps and bounds with her psychic ability from the moment when I first um read for her and she's been great and we've become friends so I just wanted to give a shout out to her for giving me some guidance because sometimes we all need guidance we're all human you know it's like if she connected with um someone from my past that had passed away and we had like a little bit of a medium type of channeling and it was an amazing experience so I just want to say thank you to her okay so um and he told me <laughs> that I need to read the cards more intuitively and trust my intuition so that's what I'm doing and I'm actually getting some really good messages and right now I just feel this um wave of peace all over me I feel like my higher self has come down into my body and I'm in the I'm connected and I'm in the flow and I'm yeah I'm just happy because I don't want to do logical readings anymore from the book. All right, so the next card is Yep, she's in her intuition, her sixth sense. So she's like 
She's fighting between her logical brain and her intuitive mind. And she's like, do I just, do I follow my intuition? Is my intuition correct? I don't have any clarification that it's correct. I don't have any reassurance that it's correct. Is it correct? Am I crazy? She's like going crazy in her head because her intuition is like on on point on fire about how she feels. But then her, um, her 3D... You know, self is like, am I a clown for believing in this? Is it an illusion? You know, and she's also second guessing her intuition, thinking, okay, is this real? <laughs> or is this a fantasy that I've created because I um, really love this person or care about this person or I want to I wanna believe in fairy tales? All right, so let's get a clarifying card with this. Let's snuggle, babe. So it's like all she wants to do is just like show a, like her love for her masculine and snuggle him or cuddle him or hug him and give him her unconditional love. But it's like she can't because he's um he's so resistant to her and it's like she's just like, I just wish I could say, let's snug snuggle, babe. But am I a fool for, for, for wanting that still? You know, am I a fool for thinking he wants it too? Um, am, I, am I crazy because of all of the pain he's caused me? But um, she still wants to be close to a masculine. So what's the advice moving forward? leap of faith am I a clown for taking a leap of faith following my intuition that's telling me to take a leap of faith am I am I a clown so she's um conflicted here between her heart and her head and she her her intuition is saying take a leap of faith trust trust the universe don't let this connection go okay so what are the connective energies let's get a connective energy please what are the connective energies between the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine? Bright baby. So I feel like the Divine Masculine sees the Divine Feminine as his bright baby, like this beautiful, blossoming, pure and innocent like lady and I feel like the divine feminine just wants her masculine to get back to being um in that vibration of being a bright like inner child brightness like just that pure love pure you know pure unconditional love that they have for each other in the flow so I just feel like She's looking to the future. He's looking to the future. There is, um, this is about the foundation. So they both want the foundation of the connection to be pure. They both have pure intentions. They both want to come at each other with just the love that they have and, and no longer the fear. So the bright baby card is all about someone that's very pure and innocent. And um, I feel like that's the message here. They just want to come in with pure intentions and embrace each other. And that is the connective energy. So it's a really, really positive for that to come through. And fours are about foundations. So, yeah, it's like they just want to uncomplicate things and just come at each other with pure intent. So the next card for the connective energies, what is that? watcher so they're watching each other <laughs> rather than speaking to each other could be on social media i feel like the masculine's the one that's watching more so than the feminine the masculine's got his eye yeah i really feel like the masculine's got his eye on the feminine he hasn't let her out of his sight he's um awakening to his feelings and he's like i'm watching you i got my eye on you 
he's watching her and, and her purity. I'm going to get two more cards because I just want to clarify the connective energies a bit further. Yeah, so it's like the, the masculine wants to come out of his shadow side and be more pure. Because if you look at how pure his feminine is, he's, he's a, as his brat baby. And he no longer wants to just watch her in a creepy way with his shadow side. So if you see this, it's like a five. So he's, pre he's previously been trapped in fear, very conflicted internally, um, in the dark, not being able to step into the light, very trapped by his own shadow, um, like in, his, in a prison of his own mind is what I'm getting coming through. Okay, um, and then I'll get one more card. Connective energies. High Priestess. So they're both using their intuition right now. They're both in their intuition and they're both following it. So it's about listening to your intuition. The feminine knows the masculine is watching her. The masculine knows that he has to he has to step out of his shadow side and be more pure if he wants to come forward to the feminine. That's the connective energies. Okay, let's get some um, feelings, some emotions. It's always been you. Let's get married. <laughs> it's always been you. Let's get married. So it's like they both have their eyes on the prize. It's always been the masculine for the feminine. It's always been the feminine for the masculine. It's like you're the only one. You're the only one for me. I'm going to get one more card though just because I feel like let's get another one. You inspire me to be better. Yeah, let's come through again. I think I've written that twice by accident. Maybe I um, wanted two chances of it coming up. Or I um, didn't re remember when I wrote it. So uh, we've got that twice. So the masculine's really feeling inspired right now. He's inspired to be a better man for his feminine. The feminine and the masculine. Or probably the feminine. It's always been you. Let's get married. Uh, let's get one more. Just because. Let's Why not? Let's do it. One more. One more. What's this one going to be about? <sighs> this love is like, wow. <laughs> I wrote that down because I was listening to it thinking, you know, there's a song, you know, there's like that song. It was just clear audience, like, it's, love, it's never come out before. So it's like, they're really feeling the uh, connective energy is the love. So I feel like this is the feminine going, it's always been you. Let's get married. The master's like, you inspire me to be better. He wants to, like, get out of his shadow side into the pure light. And it's like, this love is like, whoa, is the connective energy between both of them. It's like, no other love that they've felt before. It's like a divine love. It's like, whoa, holy crap. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's what I'm getting for the connective energy. So I guess um, what's the guidance moving forward from spirit? For the masculines or feminine. I know I was going to make this more about the feminines, but I'm just going to... I'm just going with the flow, to be honest. See what comes out. Don't really have an intention when I do a reading. So they're having a breakthrough. Might be a breakthrough in communication. Might be a breakthrough in barriers being um, dro dropped. So there's been a breakthrough in the connective energies. What is this breakthrough pertaining to, please? Let's get actually get one of these cards. What's the breakthrough been about? Actually, I feel like it's this one. Ooh, metaphor, m metamorphosis. I can't even talk. Metamorphosis, the release. So I feel like the masculine and the feminine have had a breakthrough on what they need to release. And I feel like the masculine is transforming so he can rise up to the feminine's level. That's what I get from this. The release metamorphosis. So 
What are we releasing? Let's get a card from here. What are we releasing? Let's have a look. Hmm. I feel like there's blockages within the chakras and someone is releasing the blockage in their throat chakra and they're gonna um come forward and speak their truth so i feel like the breakthrough was that people weren't speaking their truth and they are starting to speak up so the feminine has spoken up about something which has triggered the masculine to have his own breakthrough and go through a bit of a metamorphosis himself and he's going to come forward in the future and speak his truth or express his emotions. That's what I feel is coming through from this particular card. So let's just get one more finalizing energy. What's the future? What, what can we expect in the future for this connection? Anything? Alchemy. So see how we had the magician card came out for, for earlier for the masculine? So, um... Alchemy is about mid, like transformation, but it's also about the magician and the alchemist. So it's like the masculine's going to start being the alchemist. Uh, he's going to manifest something. What's he going to manifest in the future? Let's get one more card. Why not? What's the masculine going to be manifesting, please, spirit? going to roll the dice and play his hand he's going to manifest his luck his dream see how we got play your hand he's going to throw the dice and take a gamble he's going to take a leap of faith so i'm getting from this he's going to take a risk in the future um, and he's transforming at the moment to get the courage to do that and he's manifesting it i feel like that's what this is He's um he's he's being manipulated alchemy alchemically right now to, to transform, speak his truth, and release the past. Um, but I'll get one last card from here about what is to come. Let's have a look. What is to come in the future? He's gonna show gratitude and appreciation to his feminine. And we'll get why not get one more card? One more card from my deck. Please forgive me. <laughs> wow, so he's going to come forward and ask for forgiveness and show his gratitude and appreciation in the future. Please forgive me, Divine Feminine. It's always... You inspire me to be better please forgive me because this love is like whoa <laughs> and when he um comes forward asking for, for forgiveness what what energy is he gonna be in ten of stars ten of pentacles this is so it says hoarding on a card which I don't really like, but intuitively, as I read this, it's like fireworks. Like, it's going to be like a passionate, pleasurable. <laughs> what I'm getting from this is like he's been hoarding all this passion for his feminine, right? And all these stars represent the passion. So that song in my head, Baby, You're a Firework. Um, you know, like, you know how she's just like, it's like a firework. It's going to be like an explosion of passion. That's what I'm getting for the future. Ten of stars. I'm going to explode all my passion onto you or into you or you know what I mean. <laughs> because this love is like, wow, please forgive me. All right. Um, so that's what the divine masculine is currently, excuse me, currently manifesting with the feminine is for her for forgiveness and to uh, put all of the passion he's been hoarding within his own, um, how 
how do I keep this PG? Uh, <laughs> within his own pipe system, he's been hoarding a lot of passion and it's ready to explode. It's ready to come out like fireworks. All right, so I'm going to leave you guys with that note and I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Bye.